Okay, so we're back. Mr. Hayes, we're going through Stats Medic curriculum here. Link to all these notes, by the way, I forgot to say in the last videos down below, um, as well as links to previous videos, etc. And obviously, like, comment, subscribe. All right, so combining probability distributions. This is one of the big keys of what we're doing. And actually, you can start messing around with a whole bunch of fun stuff this way. So we're setting up for the rest of the chapter. So when you're adding or subtracting random variables, let's say it's x and y, what's going to end up happening is this, and we talked about this at the bottom of the experience section. For the means, if you're adding them, you're just going to add the means together. If you're subtracting them, it makes sense, you're going to subtract the means. Okay, so again, nothing really big here, just making sure that we understand that this is what the rule is. Now for the standard deviation, it is going to be the square root of the squares of the standard or the variances so it's the squares of the standard deviations of both x and y now the one part that people tend to make a mistake on is here and as i say down here be careful because you're going to always add for the variance a lot of times people think that since we're subtracting here we're going to be subtracting here remember you're squaring essentially think about it this way if you're subtracting the standard deviations you're squaring that and so you're squaring that negative which is going to become positive because remember because the you know the way that adding is set up subtracting is set up you're basically adding the opposite and so when you get down here you're squaring a negative standard deviation so it becomes positive and then we just write it like this just for sake of ease so when you're doing means you do what you're doing with the variables when you're doing standard deviations you're always going to add the sum of the squares of the standard deviations okay and then for the normal probability distribution you're going to go through and you're going to find the new mean and the standard deviation okay so if you're combining the new standard deviation okay so if you're combining the two different probability distributions you're going to have to go through and find the new mean and the new standard deviation um, for that. So if you do this part, you can't forget to do this part. Now, in terms of the check your understanding, take a look at this, hit pause, run through the questions, and I'll give you the answers here on the other side. Okay, ready to talk about diapers? Well, if not, then obviously you shouldn't be a parent. But um, we had a former teacher here, Mrs. Goodwin, and she had some twins. Okay, And so um, X is going to be the number of diapers day for Elise um, in terms of diaper changes, and Y is the number of diaper changes per day for Jocelyn. So based on a few weeks of careful records, the probability of distributions are as follows. So over here, for Elise, we had, this is how many diaper changes she had, between three and six, and that was, she's obviously using a lot you know, doing five a day. We're over here, we have uh, Jocelyn, and we got over here, and those are the distributions here. So some days she has a little bit more. Mean, standard deviations, etc. So the first question was, we're going to assume, well, first of all, we're assuming independence, but define t is equal to x plus y. So t is up here, the number of diaper, um, so we're saying t is equal to x plus y. So what is x plus y? So that means that t is the total number of diaper changes between um, Elise and Jocelyn. So in find and interpret x, or the pi of t, or not pi of t, mean of t. So you're going to just add the two means together. I'm going to take this five and a half diaper changes here, the 4.9 diaper changes here, and just add them together. So we get 10.4. So if we have many, many selected days, on average, the total number of diapers used, and if you want to add by Elise and Jocelyn, would be about 10.4. That's not 10.4 days, that's supposed to be diapers. I'm sorry. You guys should really find a better YouTuber. You can't, Mr. Hayes. You're our actual teacher. Okay, well, sorry. Mistakes happen. And then for, you're going to actually go find the standard deviation of t. Now, remember, you have, you're going to add the two, but you have to square the two standard deviations together and then take the square root out. So we're going to go ahead. You didn't see that part. Square the two standard deviations and add them up. Take the square root. So we get 1.295, and that interpretation means that the total number of diapers used typically in a day varies by about 1.295 diapers from the mean of 10.4 diapers. Now, a couple of things to remember. You do have to say typically varies. You use the phrase about here because this is not a precise number, and you always refer what it is varying from, the mean, and then state what the mean is. Do you have to? Only if you want full credit. And then last but not least, they're asking about how much cost are they going to end up having here? Oh, this should be Mrs. Goodwin's. I forgot to change that. Sorry. So yeah, I modified these. These are not exactly. I put
put them for my kids. You got it. Um, so the average cost is, so you're going to go ahead just like you would do whatever the average, you normally would multiply the averages together, but you're going to scale it by whatever the price is. So since X is an average price of 2.38, we're going to go 5.5 times 0.238 cents, or 2.38 dollars. 0.238 dollars, and then we're going to take 4.9 diapers times the average price of 0.2975 dollars. So that gives them an average cost of two dollars and 77 cents per day. And then the variance, you're going to go through and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to multiply this out. So I'm going to figure out what the the what the standard deviation cost would be for Elise and for Jocelyn. Square them and take the square root, and that means it's going to vary as much by two dollars and 49 cents per day. Okay. Um, and that's it. So now you know everything you know about di about diapers. And that's just some of the costs it is to have some kids. So again, thanks for checking this out. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you later.